Hi guys, this is Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. So I'm picking up on someone who loves to be the victim. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> but um, someone who loves to um, be the victim. They love for people to pity them and feel sorry for them and woe is me and blah, blah, fucking blah. It's like, and this person's on the... They're on the prowl. They're looking for people to, they're in their emotions and they need, they need someone to pity them right now. Hi, mom. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> I am not anymore ever going to fall into your trap. I know who you really are. And I've known for quite a long time, but I tried and tried because you're my mother. No more. Grow the fuck up. You're all, you're in your 60s. Either start being real or don't expect me to ever interact with you again. I forgive you, but I'm not falling back into your trap. And for someone else who's also in your emotions right now, no, I will not meet you at a hotel. I will, I will talk to you. But it will be in my fucking courtyard, in my in my safety zone. I'm not gonna meet you anywhere strange or at a restaurant or at my house. Is the only two places I would willingly be able to talk to, would talk to you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please give me a message for anyone who needs it, who will watch this video when I post it to my channel. Please, Father God, protect me, my family, my home, my channel, my viewers, anyone who watches my channel to get help, to get healing, and to find a relationship with you. Please protect them and bless them with your presence and your love. And anyone who's watching my channel to try and get info or try to get info to do negative harm to anyone, including myself, please block and blind them and send them karma that they so justly deserve. And yes, was precious holy name, I ask and pray, amen. <sighs> Alright, let's get the overall energies. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Date night and narcissist. So there's a narcissist that, either a Pisces narcissist that wants to go on a date with you, or Pisces, you've got a narcissist that wants to go on a date, a date with you. Someone spying on you. Or you're spying on someone, Pisces. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, review, everything. So someone's messing with your electronics, your phone, your computer. Probably trying to hack them or they have hacked them. But you're protected. A lost loved one watches over you. Someone's expecting. Sexuality, gambling, give it time. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So someone can't decide if they like dick or pussy. Uh, someone has problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances, and give it time. Everything in divine timing, it, let things flow. So someone is spying on you that is confused about their sexuality. They've got someone pregnant. 
or they are pregnant. Um, they have more than one addiction. And you're being... This could be a water sign. Oh, wait. Pisces. So, I like Pisces. You're stalking somebody. You could be pregnant. Or you could have someone pregnant. You're definitely confused about your sexuality. And you definitely have more than one addiction. I believe I'm speaking to a Pisces who is a narcissist. Who left the greatest supply they'd ever had and can't get over it. But yet they have someone pregnant. They can't decide if they want dick or pussy. And more likely if they've got someone pregnant, then the person they're spying on is a man. So this is a male Pisces who's probably living with this chick that's pregnant, but yet can't keep his eyes off of um, his male lover or ex-male lover. Uh, they definitely gamble a lot. I think that comes with like you know, gambling at a casino, but also gambling with just life choices. Yeah, this person made a decision without knowing all the facts. They made an impulsive move to leave a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, or a um, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Someone's born on the 11th of the month. So March 11th could be January 11th, December 11th. See, I think for some, for this Pisces, or whoever the spy is, but I'm pretty sure it's a Pisces, um, you were too independent. Or, this person that they, they're spying on was too independent. They, they weren't needy enough. They weren't codependent enough. They, you know, um... This person wants you back. Or you want this... Pisces, you want this person back. <laughs> but, um... But you left them because you were trying to knock them down a notch. You thought that they would chase you and that they would cry. Be like, please come back. I'll do anything. Blah, blah, blah. And they didn't do that. So, because, but because you're a narcissist or have narcissistic tendencies, your pride wouldn't let you come back. <laughs> So you just decided to keep going on about your business with every Tom, Dick, and Harry and Linda, Ray, Sue down the street. And now Linda, Ray, Sue's pregnant and you're spying on Billy, Ray, Billy Bob Thornton. Wishing you could be back with Billy Bob Thornton again. Yep. You stole from this person. You tried to keep them heavily burdened. You thought you could keep it a secret about you and your cronies and this queen of wands that were all working for you. You were paying them off like you were a fucking, um, a fucking time, like, you know, like, like, you were a boss, like, you were paying these people like they were on your payroll. And, um, they did whatever to this person that you told them to do. It was like they were... You... Well, one was a hired hitman. One was a certified babysitter. One was a best friend. One was a lover. Like, but they were all your fucking... Cronies. To keep this person stuck. Because you were so such a big emperor. Such a big, big, big man. Like, 
You control the world. You wanted to make sure this person was stayed stuck and never would never get their prayers answered. And any time they got close to it, you sent somebody else in new to either act like they wanted to marry them or, you know, their wish for someone. Oh, I love you. I want to be with you. Blah, blah, blah. But I got to smoke crack to do it. And now the Tower of Judgment is coming in on all of you motherfuckers. Including my motherfucking mama. Which she's already in the loony bin, so you know. <laughs> she's gonna take care of herself. That guilt's a motherfucker, isn't it, mom? Messages or someone's gonna show up at your house. Either the authorities are gonna finally come in and tell you exactly what the fuck happened and who was involved and ask you to testify. Or one of these motherfucking people are gonna come in and be like, look. I know I was fucked up. I know it was wrong. I know blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I think someone's going to offer you money to keep your mouth shut, not to testify. That's just my personal opinion. And, um, or a Pisces, you're going to offer someone money to keep them from testifying. Someone's name's Valerie. There's a King of Pentacles that's really significant as well. It's an Aries. So there could be an, a Capricorn and an Aries couple that were, uh, soulmates and they were married or they just lived together for a very long time and after years of being together they broke up for whatever reason this this Aries could be the emperor and this Pis Pisces you could just be one of their cronies or it could be the other way around the Pisces could be the emperor and the the fucking Aries could just be one of the cronies. I don't know, people. This story is resonating. This has been going on for a very long time. There's been a group of people that have come together, probably since you were a child, and orchestrated this shit. Someone's name is Sammy. Someone's life past six. Someone lives on State Road 6 or someone travels State Road 6 on a daily basis. Someone's a Gem Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The three witches or warlocks are about to learn their lesson. They already wish they hadn't come for you. You are the baddest bitch. Oh, mom, did you, did you really go, did you join the coven? I mean, I really kind of think you did. Or you were always in it and I just didn't know. Pros and cons of dating me. Pro, I got a big dick. Con, I stick it in every bitch and nigga I see. So you definitely, um, This ex that's spying on you, whether, I mean, it's the Pisces or the Aries. They have a big dick and they're narcissistic as fuck. They love your body. They miss your soul. They crave your soul and you're the one that got away. Someone's name begins with a K. K. Someone's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. I paid him to kill you, not to marry you. What the fuck? Someone's 33 or somebody's a Life Path 33. Someone's name begins with an M. H. Herbert. Hallmark. Something to do with Hallmark. 
Someone's crying like they just watched a Hallmark movie. Because they know they're fucking going down. Probably my mom. <laughs> Skiing, someone's last name Skiing. The same build a bitch. You sure was trying though, weren't you? How many of them bitches is there now? 10, 20? And not a fucking one of them even hold a candle to me. Sorry. Q. Someone's name is Quincy. Someone's 36 years old. Someone's life path three. Someone's born in 1963. Hi again, mom. Oh, look, BJ. There's so much I could do. This means so much to me, you have no idea. For one, BJ. <laughs> yeah, I know you miss it. You're not, you're never going to get it again. Sorry. Uh, not sorry. Uh, then we got Brandon and James. Then we have JB. Justin Bonner. I'm childish, petty, and vindictive. I did sleep with all of them out of spite. My ego was bruised, and I wanted you to hurt because I was. Oh, shit. And the only reason you were hurt is because you were able to break my heart, and you didn't get the payday that you thought you were going to get because you didn't succeed. That's what you get for fucking being that shitty of a person. Who does that? Oh, I'll take a... I'll take... I, I, I'd make a bet that I could break their heart, but I'll go in and waste three months of my life to make someone believe I'm in love with them and then break their heart. Yeah, I'll do that for $10,000. And I'll cheat on my wife and I'll fucking risk my kids, get, uh, me getting an STD, you know, so my kids won't have a dad when they're fucking graduating high school. Where the fuck do you people come from? Someone drives a BMW. Someone's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Someone's name starts with a G. Someone's going ham right now. Staff grinder. Because the DL Society of Gay Men are wanting to attack because they're pissed off. Your time is coming. Stay patient. You're doing an awesome job. I'm so proud of you. Love your twin. I was a fool to believe I could turn that bitch into you. You smell so sweet or, and her pussy stinks. Oh well. Maybe if you would have been focused on your fucking wife, you wouldn't be in this mess. Wouldn't have to worry about it. I don't care if you're gay or straight. Once you're married, you're married to that fucking person. And if you guys have an agreement, then there should be no reason why the third party doesn't know about the fucking, or is it intertwined with your fucking spouse? E, Elijah, U, I, someone's in the ICU, someone's 22, or the bulk of this bullshit happened last year. Someone's a Life Path 9. Or something happened in September of last year. Somebody drives a white Kia. Someone's name is Kia. Someone. Someone. Someone's name is Sue and someone's going to sue. 
Someone has issues. Fuck issues. They got subscriptions. Someone's got the blues. Or someone sings the blues. Someone's by, obviously. Someone's born in May. May 9th. You're not crazy. I'm using everything in my power to sabotage. I'm using my power to sabotage everything in your life to force you to come back to me. I know it's insane, but it's the only way I know to get you back. I miss you so much. Oh my gosh. People need a fucking therapist. Someone's life path one. Someone born in 1991. An ex. Someone's born May 22nd, 1991. Someone's name is Seth Zai. Beta Zai. Beta Zai is significant. Someone's name is Carly. I'm devastated. It won't be long now before you find out I make my money through producing kitty porn. It kills me. I never wanted you to know this about me. Well, since I already fucking knew that about Maurice, who else is hiding it from me? Could it be you, Mom? God knows you let your fucking brothers fuck me when I was a kid. I still remember every detail of that day. It kills me my pride got in the way. I would do anything to take back the things I did to you. You, you really are a queen. I can't wait to see your name in shining lights. T. Tums. Somebody's got heartburn. Someone's name is JT or TJ. Someone's a twin. Someone's name is Ty, Terrence. There's an Aries Leo or a Sag, it's a con artist. Someone drives a Dodge. Somebody's a life path 11, or someone's born May 11th. <clears throat> Hurting you gives me pleasure. I'm sick and twisted, and I love it. Yeah, I know. Someone rides Mitz bus. Someone's a bitch. Every last one of you should. Someone that is a Jets fan. The men in black are following you. That's right, Mom. Won't be long now. But you'll probably be able to plead the insanity thing and just spend your life in the loony bin. Religion is a language of culture and time. Nothing is constant. Oh...
Mo, Bo, someone's a hobo, sexual, MIT, someone went to MIT, somebody's from Brooklyn, somebody's jacking off right now watching me. The gift of healing comes from within, but none of you guys want to look within because you're too busy looking without trying to either get high or suck some dick. Perception is reality. The universe is what you say it is. Your false twin flames were in 1974. Somebody's a whore or escort or somebody hires escorts. Some days I'm Sarday, some days I'm Tupac. Don't fuck with me. See you in the next video, Pisces.